My darling Akshay, as you know, growing up I loved Cinderella, until I met you, I had fantasized about the fairy tale romance and a magnificent wedding. But after meeting you, I know that the fairy tale imagination is nothing compared to the reality. For my reality is a God-fearing, tender-hearted, selfless man who I know loves me with a passionate and Christ-like love. I love you very much, my Akshay, with all of my heart. <sighs> and continue to thank God for bringing us together. The day we met, when you walked out the front door, I went from being this confident person who was never nervous about meeting people to losing all my confidence. Your beauty captured me, your soft cheeks, your beautiful smile, gorgeous eyes and your flowing hair. Everything about you. I hadn't felt that nervous in a long time, if ever. But as we spoke and I started to get to know your gentle nature, kind spirit, and your commitment and faith in Jesus. Most importantly, I hoped you would be the one that I marry. So that's Melody when she was four, and that's Akshay when he was eight years old. They didn't know each other then. I always said to Mel, Mel, all you had to do was turn to the right and you would have seen your future husband. I don't think if we'd met at those times that we would have been ready for each other. And it's clear that our father up above is writing our story and bringing us into each other's life at the right time when we were both ready. From this day forward to my very last breath, I will love you as my own body, putting your needs above my own. I take up the responsibility of leading our family in love and respect for each other and in our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In every circumstance for the rest of our lives as we serve our God together, united as one flesh. I promise to love you as God has ordained a wife to love her husband, to embody and reflect the love that Christ has demonstrated to us to love selflessly and sacrificially. But I know that the best thing I can promise you is to keep my eyes on Jesus and to love him with all my heart. I know that it is his love that will carry us for the rest of our lives. And I remember at the fun times that we had at Flemington Markets, and we used to walk through the markets and we hear everybody screaming out, $10, $10, $10, they're trying to sell their veggies or whatever. I'll be holding onto a little hand and I'll lift the hand up and I'll start screaming out, $1, $1, $1, $1. And the embarrassment on her face, you know, Akshay, you're lucky, mate, you got it for free. Yeah. <laughs> We believe that God has good and better plans for you both as you are made for each other to start the next chapter of your life having Jesus Christ in the center of your life.